This is a unit that was third in the SWAC in kick returns a year ago, and this will be Waller a yard deep for the Braves. Oh, and a big lick to start the afternoon at the 15-yard line. Aaron Company love his leadership. He's got a big play on third down now. Johnson loads, throws over the top of Anthony, the intended receiver, and Nate Woody's defense post a three and out in their first chance today. Seven-yard gainer on first down. Good start for the offense, too. Here's another dive play. Ponches Mason, Jordan Mason, the young redshirt freshman from Gallatin, Tennessee. Two carries and a first down to start, and maybe here's a freebie. A little counter by Marshall. Backside, this is Clinton Lynch rounding the corner. Into all corn territory goes Lynch. Dalen Burks, the corner, made the play after 25 yards on the ground for Clinton Lynch. 30 receptions and nine scores. Watch here the cut. It's Cottrell. Boom, getting his defender down. Good blocking on the edge. Outstanding job. Everybody's got to be on the same about the depth or lack thereof at a place like Alcorn. Well, they can't practice cutting really as much. Straight ahead. Mason breaks free. Touchdown. Starts up front, West. Just look at it. Like before anybody can even get a hand, a whiff. One guy had started for the Yellow Jackets prior to today in the secondary. Johnson flushed to his left, going to try and work up field, and he'll lose his hat and be short. David Curry and Brant Mitchell, the two linebackers, collide on Noah Johnson. And another three and out. Uh -oh. And let's see, did Alcorn fall on it? Georgia Tech get it. Oh, it's a scramble. And there was a mix-up on the exchange with Marshall and Mason. And out of there, Trey Farrell said it belonged to the Braves. And let's see who gets up off the stack as Alcorn will get a fumble from the Jackets. Covered by Alcorn State. And it is like we've talked about the keys right off the top. Cleanliness is winliness, keeping it clean. And there it's on the ground and nothing but purple jerseys around it. Uh, fighting for it is, it looked earlier like the handoff was a little bit high. That definitely in the belly. And just drop, and that can beat you. As we all know, you can't lose games. So here is Noah Johnson now looking to throw it. Breaks from the pocket. And he will pick up nine yards. He'll be a yard shy of the first down. Johnson's right now, but Alcorn State a chance of getting a little bit of life back in him. Johnson on three steps. Far side and overthrows Anderson. Brad Stewart to the bottom of your screen as Marshall wants to throw. Shoots it to Stewart. He'll be short of the first down by about five yards. Right at the 25. Unforced error on the fumble and then a four and out a minute ago or three and out with a penalty a moment ago and a tackle for loss. And here is Simmons. Best run of the day for P.J. Simmons. And he'll pick up almost 10 on first down. Twins to either side. Johnson wants to throw, and Christian Campbell's going to take him down. There comes one of Nate Woody's blitzers, James. Straight drop, Johnson. Fails from the pocket, downfield, and overthrows Anderson, the intended receiver. For this defense. Third and nine, Marshall wants to throw. Now going to run out of there. And Taquan slips across. He will have the first down and stretch to the 35. 15-yard run. Joe runs through one tackle and he dropped it. He might have been a horse collar there. Yep. But good, strong running. And again, you talk about vision. This is a guy who hasn't just played quarterback here for Georgia Tech. Here he is at the wheel of the spread option today. Base formation for the Jackets. Marshall, quick pitch. Nathan Cottrell on the backside into Braves territory and a full head of steam down the far sideline. Five there. Can't pick the number from up here in the booth, but another great job on the outside by those receivers. Locking those guys and helping spring those big plays. Searcy in motion. Here's Marshall again. Call draw. He'll get to the outside. Cut back in at the 20. Taquan inside the 10. And finally drives it toward the 7, James. 28 yards for the Jacket quarterback. Come to the end of the first quarter. And it's, you know, you get guys with their backs turned in coverage. And it's out the gate for 16. 
Marshall, as we saw earlier, when he picked up that first down. Third and goal. Marshall will keep and score. Nine plays for the Jackets to their second touchdown here, James. Nothing lead. To Quan Marshall into the end zone. Throw by Harper offline, intended for LaCharles Pringle. 13 0 game. Wanye Thomas waits on the punt of Corey McCullough, who had his best of the day a moment ago. This is end over end, but Thomas might get a little play here. Coming near side, Thomas cuts back at the 50. Wanye, did he step out of bounds? No, in Braves territory, about the 43 yard line. Wanye Thomas by Wanye Thomas. Well, they've lacked this a little bit over the last couple years. Somebody that can give them the big hitter, change it on special teams, punt return and kick return, and the freshman from Niceville, Florida, over in the panhandle. <laughs> Taking it into brave territory. Hot set on third down for the Jackets. Marshall shoots it to Searcy to catch. That'll be a first down play inside the 20 to the 18. Guys, how are they this year? We're getting ready to find out tonight, aren't we? <laughs> Straight ahead, Benson. Cravante dives forward to the five. It'll be first and goal, Georgia Tech. Seven yards again for Cravante Benson. It's set for the Jackets here on first and goal. Marshall, this is Benson, and he will fall into the end zone for the Georgia Tech touchdown. First score of the year for Cravante Benson, who had six of them a season ago. Another look at it, and again, just like the last time they were down here on this end and going into the end zone. A couple hour trip over to Atlanta. 51 tackles in his junior year last year. Here is Harper, near side, and on third down, not enough. Charles Hughes, 6'2", redshirt senior, making Mississippi pulled it in. The third down and long for the new quarterback. That's Wood, the big tight end in motion. Harper wants the throw, and it bounces off the pads of Zamari Walton, a true freshman from Melbourne, Florida. Well, here he's, he's hit what looks like it's going to be a three-yard game. Falls forward a yard and a half. Third down, base look, here's a little counter. Marshall going to cut it back upfield. He's got the first down. Taquan stretches toward the 35. <laughs> right. I mean, it, it was a pretty play to begin with, but you're right. It was very close to a whole lot more. And a good job hustling over to, to save. Second in the full 10. Marshall juggled the snap. Now the pitch going outside. Here's Benson. 45 and midfield for Cravante Benson. 16 yard run was the guy. Boy, I used to love watching this when I was little. It was Jamel Holloway. <laughs> no, you though is who I would watch. You know, it's just, a, it's just a thing of beauty. That's Lynch in motion. There's the pitch, little counter back to the outside. Clinton Lynch will have the first down and then got knocked out of bounds by Sterling Shippey. Clinton. He's got to hold on to it. He can't turn it over here. A tough day so far. P.J. Simmons has had a 10-yard run. That's going to be about six or seven the to the 31. Now, Alcorn has put Javen Morris in the safety back on the end line of the goal. Here's the try by King. And it is no good to the right. And that'll be the final play of the half. So a little frustrating for Paul Johnson's team here at the close of the half. Base set for the Jackets to open the third period here. And straight ahead is Cravante Benson. And that is a 13-yard run on first down. First down after the Benson carry. Here's Marshall. Nice pitch on the corner. Searcy set sail. Quay Searcy, 30. Got one guy to beat, and it'll be hauled down inside the 10. Javen Morrison saved the Georgia Tech touchdown on the play from the senior Quay Searcy. From Paul Johnson asking about that offense as he went into the halftime locker room. Rebecca, I think his players, the offensive guys, got an earful as well. You see the first snap, the offensive line charges out. Inside, Cravante Benson on the dive and taking guys with him. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Second, third, and fourth efforts 
for Cervante Benson. He has served his suspension in the first quarter, and I thought he would just be mad at the world and on fire. Maybe it took an extra couple quarters, but here he is in the third quarter. Back it down, and they hand it inside. This is Foreman. He lost the ball. David Curry, the touchdown on the scoop and score. Fumble on the play, number by number 32. A huge play. Watch up here. Watch up here. Excellent job of fighting through the block. Who is that, West? St. Amore strips him. Yep. St. Amore. Yep. Great job to disrupt the penetration. See him get rid of it. Go make the play. You, you better make the play if you come underneath there because it can set up for a long play. It takes the right angle, knocks it down, and it's easy. These linebackers know what to do with the oh, football. Oh, do Remember they? Mitchell last yeah, year as yeah, well? Brent Mitchell, yeah. What was it, Virginia? Did he have the touchdown? And, and Bruce Swilling also. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Noah Johnson back at quarterback. And this is Simmons. Slips out of one tackle. Nice run. P.J. Simmons picks up about nine to the 30. Almost 1,400 yards rushing and was a dual threat guy. He yep. could catch it coming out, too. There's Simmons. He'll get the first down, but he got swung around by Henri St. Amour. Well, shoot, it looked like he was meditating when he was stretching Rebecca in yeah. pregame. I think he was. Flipped out to Foreman on the pass from Johnson, and he'll get to the 45. And then the Jackets' Brant Mitchell, who James spoke of a moment ago. Johnson at quarterback. And caught that time. Anderson went up the ladder again to haul it in. They're going to give him the forward spot, though, to the Georgia Tech 45, and that'll be enough for Darius Anderson for the second meeting ever with Alcorn State and Georgia Tech. And a little flat player screen pass for Simmons. And on third and 16, I think David Curry's the guy that wrestles him down. This defense can stiffen get off the field. Cervante Benson breaks through to the 15. That's enough for a first down. You're down at the goal line. That's a lot of running. Yeah. Hot day like today. First and 10. Marshall wants to throw it again. Now going to elude the pocket and take off. 20, 25, and out to the 29 goes to Quan Marshall. 14-yard run, another first down. 11th-year head coach of the Jackets as we get a look at the Marshall run here, James. Well, and, and you know, I you hate to take any of the fight away from taking some hits like that. You, you know, they, they add up, especially in this offense. You're going to take them on the ground. There's Stewart a catch. It'll be second and short after the grab on a nine-yard throw. George Jones is, <laughs> who's apparently a, an old-time country music singer. Here's, um. <laughs> here's Marshall to Searcy, and he'll step out of bounds in Alcorn territory at the 37-yard line. And also, he stopped loving her today. She listened to him. Sad song. Yeah. And, and I get, I'm with you on one thing, Rebecca, is... How is that going to get a team ready to go play football? <laughs> That's you. what she said to us this morning. She said, I listened to that song. Good conversation with Fred McNair, too, on the phone this yeah. week about rookies singing songs. And he was telling us that his go-to when he was a rookie was Johnny Gill. My, my, my. Here's Marshall. Wanted to throw. Now going to dance. Now has got a guy wide open. Stewart caught it. Here it is coming right back at you. You see even, even Marshall selling that hard, had that ball tucked away. So it's, it makes it tough on a defender. That's where your wife went to school, right? Yep, she's a Cartersville Purple Hurricane. A third down and long for these purple guys. Look at the throw. Johnson trying to dial back and Ooh. incomplete. And now the flag will be thrown by the back judge from the center of the field. You really let that, it rock. Okay. P.J. Simmons in the backfield. They'll flip it to him out in the flat, and he'll come up about three, four yards short of the first down at the wheel for the Jackets here. And here's Oliver on another keeper. Out to about the 24, pick up of right at about six. Game in the fourth quarter on offense, on defense. You better believe those first stringers are reminding him we got a goose egg going. You know? Yep. Keep it going on offense and keep it going on defense as well. Luke is getting hurt. They just they had to, they had to put him there. You have to have three quarterbacks in this system. And, and 
Paul Johnson just is speed, just elusively fast. And really interesting it'll be as we go through this first year of the new rules as far as red shirts go, yes. Yep. Tobias Oliver picks up the first down. By the way, Graham from Fitzgerald, Georgia, as you see Oliver go for a dozen there. So they'll get some other guys ready to go here once they reach SWAC play for sure. And then maybe as early as next Saturday when they get home to Lorman, Mississippi to take on Louisiana College. There's Oliver. Follow play out of the spread option, and that'll be enough for the first down. Here's the 15th play of the drive for Georgia Tech. Third and 13. Oliver wants to throw it. Now going to keep it. 10, 5, and dies. Will he? Nope, did not get in. It'll be just short. Fourth and goal from the from inside the one yard line. Coming right at you here. Inside, here's the run, and this is Trey Turner. This is a true freshman from Atmore, Alabama. The night on the books right now. Ah, that's, that's a guy who really needs to stick around. Right? Caught by Juan Anthony. He fumbled the ball, and Georgia Tech is recovered. Anthony coughed it up, and Nate Woody's defense hustles to the fumble recovery. Football, that's how you make plays. Swarming the football. Boom, the ball is definitely out as we take another look at the replay. Ball comes out. Who's going to get it? The guys that are around the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six guys wearing gold bonnets. Great hustle. They continue to hustle. The second and third waves. You got some backups now. Some, uh, a recon mission Did went you? to the Beyonce Jay-Z concert on Wednesday, and I think the grass is going to be just fine. That oh. ball got fumbled on the pitch. Blancato, the uh, A-back out of Marietta, was the intended guy on the pitch, and Kinsler comes up with the loose change. So the turnover comes with 3.07 to play, and Alcorn gets it right back. Low snap. They'll hand the ball inside. And Kevon Marsh had the door slammed. Paul Johnson a winner. He and Fred McNair shake hands. 41 to nothing is the final. Georgia Tech to 1-0, headed to South Florida next week.